Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a pretty cool effect. Um, that would be picture in picture with Sony Vegas. Doesn't matter which Sony Vegas you have. I actually have Sony Vegas 9, but it, it really doesn't matter. It's a pretty easy effect to do actually, and you can get some pretty cool stuff with it. So since this is console gaming, guys, I thought what better to do than you guessed it. Actually, you didn't. A Modern Warfare 2 picture in picture. So uh, I just downloaded a quick little montage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically mix like three parts. So um, I was thinking the top left uh, hand corner, you could have like the intro, and then you could have like in the bottom right some shooting. And like as the main picture, you could have the cool, uh, the cool effect the guy did at the start where he showed like a camera like in free motion around the stage and then sh and then change the first person which looked pretty cool um i bet you could actually do it where you could have that effect he did where he was in third person showing him like as an angle and then you can see him from actual first person you know what i mean when i go into the video so um, to start off you're going to want to have th three video tracks and three audio tracks since i opened that file it already it already automatically makes one video track and one audio track so you got to make two more video tracks and two more audio tracks And uh, you want to have it so the layout for it is video, audio, video, audio. And it's, it's not showing that right now. It's video, 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 audio, audio. So I'm just going to move this up to the first layer. And I'm going to move the video down a bit. And move this up here. Oops. Hold on. And there we go. Okay. So now we have video, audio, video, audio. You know what I mean? Now, uh, what you want to do is, I'm just going to make it a bit smaller just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I was thinking for the first part, and I'm going to change this to preview draft cord. That's like, it's pretty, that's the worst quality you can get the preview to be. So it looks horrible, but you know, it's not going to be like that when you render. So I was thinking for the first part, you could have just the introduction like this guy has here. So you split the clip there and leave that there. Now for the second part, I want to have this cool effect where here I'm just going to play it for you guys a little. Like that, he had it like in uh, third person, kind of showing the guy shooting, and then he went into first person. And he actually, the third person camera flying around was actually done outside of the gameplay and he tried to uh, replicate it. So anyway, uh, I'm just basically going to have that. Uh, I want this to be the main part. Uh, of my clip. So, hold on. Let me find where this kind of sequence ends. All right, right here, and that's where the main montage starts. So this, I'm gonna make my body. So I'm gonna move this to the very bottom. So, and I'll take the audio, move that to the bottom too. Okay, so basically, here's how it's gonna work. The top layer is one picture in picture. The second, uh, like couple, the top couple layers is the first picture in picture. The second couple are the second picture in picture, and the very last two are your main body for it. So now I'm gonna just take the remainder and move it down to the middle. Uh, there we go. Take this audio from this, move down here. But now you notice that the clips are uh, a lot longer. So since this is the main body, this one right here, I'm gonna want to make the clips basically all go up to here. So I'm gonna make this one shorter. And I'm just gonna, um, I can actually slow this down a little bit by holding down control, you can, and hold down control and just drag it out. And it makes it kind of slow. And now we have that. And now we have to choose the audio. And I'm thinking of taking the audio from the body. You can choose any audio you want. You can even put, you delete all the audio, put in your own song. But, uh, I can't really, um, put in, like, my own mainstream music because, uh, uh, it's copyrighted music, and I'm I'm thinking of applying for partnership. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I just can't use copyrighted music, so I have to use the music that came with this uh, video. So I'm going to just use the bottom audio as my actual audio. So I'm going to drag all these audios down to down to the very bottom, so it mutes them. So all you hear is the bottom. Now when you play it, you notice all you see is the introduction. So it's very slow. One, because I have my recorder on. And two, because I guess it's playing. It's just trying to play so many clips at once. You know, this one's on top of all. So as you see, all we basically see is the logo. That's all we see. So what we got to do is right click the first one, go to video event pan slash crop, and actually wrong wrong way, and just basically drag this out a lot. And you want to click on lock to aspect ratio, 
and click on size about center. So um, I forgot to do that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna basically redo that. Uh, control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Yeah. Uh, control Z is um, undo. Just in case, just go to edit undo. See, okay, so this is very important. Just forget what I just did. Make sure you have these two selected, lock aspect ratio and size about center, before you do that. Because that'll mess everything up if it's not the aspect ratio. So you basically just drag this out so you find a good size you like. Uh, and you can just put it in the top left there. Maybe you don't want it in the very top left. You want it kind of like hanging out like this. That's fine. You can drag this in a little bit to make it bigger. And then uh, reposition that. I, I think this is pretty fine since it's just a logo. I can actually make it a lot smaller. And I may want to actually put this at the bottom right since actually it, it is the logo. And usually they have like logos at the bottom right. It's kind of just a traditional way of doing it. And then for the second one, the main body of the montage. Uh, I can kind of just make this a little bit bigger than the logo. And I can kind of put it in the top right. And now what I'm going to do here for the top right one is uh for one I'm gonna turn down the opacity on on this one I'm gonna turn down the opacity a lot since after all it is a logo it puts it like 60 and for this one I'm gonna turn down the opacity maybe to uh, about 78 that looks fine so you can kind of see through it so it doesn't kind of ruin the effect and now let's see what we've done so far <laughs> Okay, that, that looks horrible. Uh, it's not going to look like that when you render it, but that's because I'm getting about, like, probably less than a frame a second. Uh, it's because I have my uh, Camtasia going, and I'm at six minutes, so i got to kind of wrap it up a little bit. Now, uh, what you can do is you can basically just add your own effects to it. Um, there are some effects that don't work, like the uh, the effect will go off into the entire clip, or some of them will just completely remove out the other clips. So you can just go to Edit and Undo if you mess up. Like, you maybe you want to invert the color... Um, and obviously you can use keyframing for some of these effects. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to edit, undo that. But yeah, so I'd inverted the color for that, look at the top left. Maybe give it a cool effect at some parts. Uh, you can defocus, I guess, I don't know. You can keyframe all these to kind of add like a cool little effect, I guess. Uh, if you don't know what keyframing is, we're going to make a tutorial on that soon, but I assume you guys know that. I can add a little red glow to the logo here. Like that, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to see, but uh, I'm not really going to make this one very good. Um, I'm just going to kind of, you know, render it just for the heck of it, just to show you guys a basic preview. You can do your stuff with this, change the effects, keyframe everything. Maybe you want, like, some things to go out of focus and stuff, and it'll make pretty cool effect. Uh, it'll make people want to watch your video over and over again to notice each individual picture and picture the amazing editing you put into each uh, layer. So, um, there was one, I'm, I'm trying to find it. It's like a, a border. I'm trying to find it. Alright, there it is, border. Uh, I like to use the blue border on these, and it makes it look kind of cool. Like that, but as you can see, it kind of messes it up. This is what I'm talking about. It makes a border over the whole thing. But, um, you can position the border and keyframe it so it kind of doesn't, like, take up the whole thing. Just put, like, a border over the whole thing. Um, and yeah. It doesn't really work very well, but uh, that's kind of a cool effect. Um, so, I, I pretty much got to wrap it up here in about... 15 seconds so um thanks for watching uh this little tutorial uh i hope it helped you guys uh so please take a second to subscribe if this helped you and uh thanks goodbye more coming soon so please subscribe bye